Okay, this is a lesson for a Jackson 5 song, I Want You Back. Um, probably one of the coolest bass lines of all time. So, it's not too complicated. You actually don't have to move your hands hardly at all. If you know those scales at all, it's in the key of A flat. Um, the root note, which is on your fourth fret, the low A flat on your fourth fret on your E string. Then you have a high A flat on your sixth fret on your D string. And the bass line pretty much revolves you know, around off of those notes. Uh, the entire scale is A flat on your fourth fret E, B flat on the sixth fret E, C natural, third fret A, D flat, fourth fret A string, E flat sixth fret A string, F natural third fret uh, D string, G natural fifth fret D string, and then the high A flat sixth fret D. You can also play B flat on your third fret G string, C natural on the fifth fret G, and D flat on your uh, sixth fret G string. all your A flat major notes right there but the bulk of the bass line is in between those two A flat notes so it starts with just a low A flat and then you go to your third fret A string you go three four six three on the D string back to four on your A Then you start on your 6th fret on your E string and you go 3, 4, you throw in a quick 5 on the A which is D natural, it's just a passing tone you know to fill in the sound and 6 on your E, I mean on your A string, E flat up to the F 3rd fret D string and then you go back three, four on your A, four on your E string, and then six, six, four. So that whole part is Those last three notes is what's known as two five one because the second note, fifth note, and first note of the scale. So that's a common thing that happens in music. All right. Um, also, in between, he'll do a, a little fill almost every time, which is just five. I mean six on your A string, three and six on your D string. takes you to the beginning of the chorus where you pretty much just go backwards through the scale
Then when you get to your six on your A string, you're going to do a quick, another quick passing tone, which is E natural on your second fret D string into the third fret. And then you go And then sixth fret, sixth fret, fourth fret. That's the two, five, one scale notes. you back that's just all a flat uh, one other thing that he does when going backwards through the chorus is uh when he gets to that fourth fret D flat he'll throw in a fifth and an octave so it sounds kind of like and chorus then there's a little bridge part um, this part it starts off with just three six on your D string and then three on your A and then six three six on your A three on your D four on your A I mean on your E goes uh, this little bass line part that I like to break up into a, about three little sections where he goes three, five, six three. Uh, so that's the one first section is just then he goes six, three, four the four on the A string, then he goes the same six and three but the four on the E string. So it's and then uh I get I think of each of one of those as a different section. So this is the first section. Second one. Third one. And then the last part of the third one is he just goes three and six on your A string and and then it starts over. Instead of going three five six, he goes three five five on your G string. So the whole four bar thing sounds like. Sorry about that. Let me start over.
Thanks for watching.